It's been 10 years since that special night in Manchester when I beat Kostya Zoo to become champion of the world. That fight was the defining moment of my career and there's not a moment that goes past that I'm not thankful I got to share it all with the people of my city. There's a story from that memorable night 10 years ago in Manchester. It's of a young boy with no ticket and no money. Just a young city boy that knew that he had to do whatever he could to not miss the biggest fight to come to Manchester in years. With no ticket and no money, the outlook didn't look good. A security knocked back the young boy over and over again as he tried to get through into the arena. But his persistence paid off as he managed to push behind someone to get past security into the lower tier just as the action started. As the fight rolled on, the young boy got sucked in with the electric atmosphere as me and Kostya Zoo went toe to toe. Desperate to be as close as he could to the action, the boy then snuck his way down to ringside to watch the 10th round just before Kostya Zoo retired in his corner and I was crowned the champion of the world. Now, a decade later, it's that young Manchester boy's turn. The young Manchester boy who snuck into ringside has grown up to become WBO number one ranked lightweight. That young boy is Turbo Terry Flanagan. And he faces knockout puncher Jose Sapida for the WBO lightweight championship of the world at the Manchester Velodrome on 11th of July. And should that young boy win, he will become the city's first world champion since a certain Richard Hatton. And that's something you wouldn't want to miss.